yes, yes it is. Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here. For those of you sensitive to spoilers or short on time, let me answer the question in the title of this video for you right now. Yes, this remake is incredible and you should go buy it immediately. If, like me, you're old enough to remember the impact the Resident Evil series had on you and the gaming industry, there's a good chance you carry fond memories and heavy nostalgia for the franchise. Without spoiling too much, or if you're waiting for a game sale, I'll mainly show you gameplay from the one-shot demo and early story sections. Keep in mind that the Resident Evil 2 one-shot demo is available as of the making of this video, but may be unavailable depending on when you watch, so get it while you can. The 30 minute demo vertical slice experience truly is an exception in the world of game tasters, succeeding in minutes to engage the player where some full games never even reach. Whilst sure, it tells you all you need to know about the world you're in. Typically, remakes aren't all that you might desire, but Resident Evil 2 has made its mark as up there as the gold standard for what and how a remake should be. Visually modern and graphically updated without sacrificing the core of what makes RE2 so intense. You know, I've played multiple so-called horror games, whether it be the Outlast or Evil Within series, and they both failed in even making my pulse raise one beat. But perhaps somewhat influenced by my nostalgia, I was immediately engrossed in the environment and desperate situation of Leon Kennedy. Now, I must commend the changes in lighting and sound, which just make the tension of each corridor and corner so much more. You know, exquisitely and disgustingly designed zombies literally dripping with rotting flesh, which I must say sometimes seem unkillable, um, present, you know, both a challenge and constant stark reminder that you might not survive this nightmare. Now, the subtle but noticeable changes to progression keep things fresh for even veterans of the series, and of course, if this is your first RE2 experience, then get ready for one hell of a ride. Built from the ground up, but while staying true to the roots of the original, this remake is a must pick up in my opinion, as it has been crafted with such care and respect, and deserves your money, a sentence which I rarely ever say. Before beginning your playthrough, I do have a very specific recommendation, and that is during the initial setup, make your game close to as dark as possible. Otherwise, with the brightness set too high, the image will seem a bit washed out and will impact the atmosphere negatively. A darker setting with enemies and objects a little harder to see will truly increase your heart rate during unfamiliar areas. Now imagine a dark, desolate, lonely building where your only company is the undead supported by a soundtrack of broken bones and screams of torment that echo through the halls. Then imagine that you can't quite see them until it's too late with you as their sole target. My criticisms are light but they're present. Now I often found it a bit ridiculous how many bullets to the head certain enemies would take when it's effectively just soup in there triggering their neurons, causing tendons to move. But either way, you could argue that it adds to the intensity when that one unkillable zombie has caused you to expend your last bullet and really trapped you in a corner. The full AAA price tag doesn't always feel warranted for remakes, but in this case, Resident Evil 2 is worth every penny. Slick visuals, tight gameplay, good story, subtle but interesting changes from the original and replayable through two characters and a set of difficulties depending on the level of challenge you desire. This is survival horror after all. Depending on your preference of platform, you can pick up the Resident Evil 2 remake on PC, PS4 and Xbox, with the lowest performing FPS system being the base Xbox One. 
Personally, I chose to have my experience be on PC and for regular viewers of the channel, I can happily say I have a newly built system in every aspect minus the graphics card. And this is an area which impressed me with the optimizations in Resi 2. My GPU is the GTX 1050 Ti, a fairly basic card which does surprisingly well to push above its weight. On PC, the game offers graphical presets and when left on default on the 1050 Ti, it ran between 40 to 60 FPS. If you select performance mode, FPS sat at a near constant 60 FPS with, as you'd expect, some graphical compromises such as shadows and aliasing, and perhaps some textures as well, but overall maintaining quite a successful visual presentation coming in at under two gigabytes of VRAM used. What this shows me is that a lot of users out there are gonna have a fantastic experience thanks to how well optimized the game is. When it comes to the story, I'm not gonna spoil anything whether you've simply forgot or have never been through it before. This is more about my opinion and thoughts. As I said earlier, I truly hope that this ground up approach to a classic remake is taken as the gold standard by the industry as an example of how you do it right. Staying true to the franchise, focusing more on using modern tech to achieve visuals possible today without thinking you need to change everything the Resident Evil 2 remake does not disappoint in any area for me, and I really think Capcom deserve a standing ovation for this one. Leave your ideas, thoughts, and comments down below. What do you think about the remake? If you dislike the content, dislike. If you liked it, leave a like. And to stay up to date with all things Complaining Gamer, subscribe and hit that bell icon. I'll catch you in the next one.